The man who walked away from Facebook will not be seen today. In its place, we bring the following presentation for those who have too much time on their hands. The Vault of Horror. The Witch's Cauldron. <laughs> Smell it? Yes, it's my cruddy cauldron. I've lit the fire under it and I cooked up another tasty terror tidbit just for you. So, come sit beside your hostess in the haunt of fear, the own witch. And I'll feed you a yawn in which the horror mounts by leaps and bounds as it nears its spine tingling finish. <laughs> I call this skin pimpler collection completed. Anita Tillman's love for animals was not abnormal. She and her husband Jonah had been married for 16 years. They had no children. Thus, as middle age came upon Anita, she had turned her frustrated maternal instincts toward any stray dog, cat, or bird that crossed their path. Poor thing, you look so cold and hungry. You stay right here and I'll get you a cup of warm milk. Anita! Jonah Tillman, on the other hand, despised animals. To him, they were pests, parasites that leached upon human beings for food and shelter without giving anything in return. Anita, what the hell are you doing? This poor little kitten was curled up on our doorstep, Jonah. I thought... Never mind what you thought. Send a miserable fate on its way. But it's cold and hungry. If you feed it, it'll hang around here for good. I won't have it. Scat! Go on! Scat! Stop it, Jonah! Stop it! Here, kitty, kitty! Come to mama! Anita picked the kitten up in her arms and caressed its furry, trembling form. Jonah glared at it. Look at it, Jonah! It's frightened! I'm going to take care of it! Ever since the canary died! First it was goldfish, then a canary, now a cat! People should have hobbies! It keeps them interested! Keeps them from being bored! Animals are my hobby! I love Is that so? I should have a hobby, eh? Alright, I will start a hobby. You'll see! The next day, Anita looked up fondly Mew Mew, the name she'd given the cat, to see Jonah come into the house and start down the cellar loaded with packages. Why, Jonah! What have you got there? You wanted me to start a hobby, didn't you? Okay, I'm starting one. Jonah stamped down the cellar stairs with his bundles. He began to unwrap them and line his work table with their contents. Knives and other strange implements, spools of wire, jars of acid, and other weird liquids. Anita stared at the array of material he'd purchased. You, you must have spent an awful lot of money on these things, Jonah. So what? You don't care when you spend money to feed your pets. What about that bird bath you bought? And the bread you waste feeding them? And the canary cage you got? It's rusting in a closet now. That's because you won't let me buy another canary. And the sand and charcoal and bird seed you had to buy for it? And the milk for that dirty mangy cat? This cat is not dirty. I bathed it today. Not to mention the countless stray mutts you fed. What about all of them? Jonah! You don't really hate animals as much as that, do you? I despise them. But now, I've got a hobby. A hobby I'll love. You know what it is, Anita? Can you I, guess? I Can haven't you? any idea. What? Taxidermy. I'm going to stuff animals, do you hear? Stuff them. No, no. You couldn't. It's cruel. Animals are living things. They should be given peace and burials. Stuffing them is so, so barbaric. You know that mouse we hear at night running through the walls? The poor little thing. I leave a little cheese for it to nibble on. That's going to be my first specimen. See? A trap. This will catch him without squashing him. Jonah, how could you? How could you be so spiteful? You're doing this because you know I love animals, aren't you? You're doing this to hurt me. <laughs> this indeed is a real bright broad, eh, kitties? She doesn't have to be hit on the head with a brick, does she? So, Jonah's going to start stuffing animals. Well, anyway, it's a fulfilling ambition. <laughs> now, to get on with our story, that evening, Jonah and Anita sat in silence. Anita played with her kitten while Jonah read his book, A Taxidermy. Listen to this, Anita. Slit the mammal to be stuffed from a point between the front legs to the rear. Work the skin down each side of the body, cutting away the flesh close to the skin. Then 
Stop it, Jonas! Just stop it! Listen, the tail is removed in one piece by pulling it from the skin. You're disgusting! Me? It says so right here. See? Then by turning the skin inside out and pulling it, the skull is removed, cutting away the skin where it joins the teeth and goes by. Anita spun around and rushed upstairs, retching. Hey, hey, good night, Anita! The next day, while Anita finished breakfast, Jonah went down into the cellar. When he came up, he carried the trap. A squealing mouse was caught inside. Look, Anita! Success! I caught our mouse! <laughs> no, no! Oh, no, no! I'm going to work now, Anita! When I come home, I'm going to stuff him. You, you better not let him go if you know what's good for you. you. You're not going to leave him in there all day, are you? You can't do it. It's heartless. <laughs> but Jonah did leave the mouse in the trap all day. Anita had to take her kitten and run out of the house because she couldn't stand the poor squealy, thing squealy. That, that night. When Jonah came home from work, he went directly to the cellar. Uh. After a while, Jonah came up. He held a board in his hand. The mouse skin was tacked to it. Look, Anita! Now I have to dry it and tan it. Then, ee! Jonah made life miserable for Anita in the days that followed. Look, Anita! I wired up the skeleton, see? Go away! Go away from me! Finally, the mouse was stuck. Finish! Anita, what do you think? I hate you! Hate you! Jonah started on another specimen. He caught a blue jay in an ingenious trap. Look, Anita, got him today. It's a jaybird. What a beauty. Let him go, please, Jonah. Please. He learned a squirrel with a nut. Come here, you little. Jonah, for heaven's sake. He would come home at night with cartons and things would be scratching inside them. A pigeon. Come in the park. Jonah, have pity on them and me. And Jonah's collection grew. One day. What are you doing with that dog, Jonah? Did have a collar on it. It's a stray. It's tough building up a collection when you live in a city. Hehe. <laughs> I'll say it's tough finding animals in a city. But Jonah did all right. His collection grew as fast as Anita's hatred for him. Soon, he'd had one mouse, one rat, one blue jay, one robin, one sparrow, two pigeons, one squirrel, and one dog. Why won't you come and look at my collection, Nina? Why? Don't you like animals anymore? Of course I like animals. Live animals. I've got almost a complete collection, Anita. Come see. No, no, I hate you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. One day. Here, Mew Mew. Here, kitty, kitty. Oh, dear. Where are you? Anita searched the house high and low for her pet cat. Finally, she stood before the cellar door. Sure. He, he, he wouldn't. He wouldn't dare. Not Mew Mew. Jonah was down there. Anita could hear him puttering. She opened the cellar door slowly. She hadn't been down there since Jonah started on his horrible hobby. Jonah, did, did you see Mew Mew? Ah, uh, who? My cat! Did you see my cat? Come down, Anita! Come all the way down! See my collection! Jonah stood there, sneering at Anita. He pointed to the array of stuffed animals. The mouse, the rat, the assorted birds. How, how cruel! The squirrel, the dog, and... <coughs> it sat on its haunches, grinning at Anita. It looked almost it, alive. It completes my collection, Anita! Jonah! You, you killed my cat! Anita's eyes bulged, her face flushed crimson. The gleaming knife on Jonah's work table sparkled under the overhead light. See? Now I have a complete collection! All the animals found in the city! All stuffed! <laughs> Not all, Jonah! You forgot one type of animal! Anita snatched the knife from the table. Jonah's mouth fell open. He stared in horror at his determined wife. Anita, put, 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 put down that knife! You, you, you can't! Couldn't I, Jonah? Couldn't I? Ah! I'm not sure. I think it was a neighbor who first found him. Anita was sitting on the cellar floor, babbling incoherently. She held a stuffed form of Mew Mew in her arms, stroking it gently. Jonah stood above them. Anita's job had been a crude one. Here and there, the stitches showed. The glass eyes didn't set exactly right. To a professional taxidermist, it may have been considered a poor job. To Jonah, it didn't matter. For Jonah had been stuffed and mounted. He he he! Yep, a 
Anita completed Jonah's collection for him by making him part of it. <laughs> Anita may have seemed a bit stuffy to Jonah at times, but in the end, it was he who was the stuffed shirt. <laughs> Jonah just got under Anita's skin once too often. <laughs> so she finally got under his. <laughs> Let them in stitches too. By the way, if anybody's interested in a mounted human figure, <laughs> there's a statue of General Jackson in the park. Well, that's enough horsing around. Bye now. And be sure to subscribe to the 9 to 5 Outlaw Reviews YouTube channel for more comics come alive with me, the Ed Witch, the Vault Keeper, and the Crypt Keeper. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>